Hey everyone, Larry here, and today, this is what I will be making in the level editor. I already did a tutorial on how to use the trigger tool, but some of you still might be having trouble figuring out how to apply triggers to a level. So I made an example using triggers that someone would typically find in a level. I will also release the level data in the description. I put a white box around the triggers so you can easily see exactly where they are. Before you start with the triggers, Make sure that the joints on SegwayGuy have limit rotation activated and that the limits are set to zero. So after you set up everything, the first step is to apply impulse to SegwayGuy. Here, I set a delay of the trigger to 2 and set the impulse to x6 and y negative 6. And set the spin to 12. Then, make Segway Guy screen. To do that, place a trigger in front of Segway Guy, set the triggered by bar to 4, attach a target to Segway Guy, and I set the sound effect to Segway Guy voice 12, but you can set it to anything you want. Then, I made Wheelchair Guy screen. Here, you place a trigger in front of Wheelchair Guy, set the triggered by bar to 4, attach the target to Segway Guy, and set the sound effect to Wheelchair Guy voice 12. Now, we'll make the long drum sound effects at the beginning. Make sure the triggered by bar is set to 1, and set the repeat type to 4, and the repeat interval to 0.25, and set the sound effect to long drum. Take another trigger, make sure it's set to activate object, attach it to the previous trigger, and set its delay to 0.8. Now, go back to the previous trigger, and set the trigger's action to disable. Now, we'll make Wheelchair Guy fling upwards and make the explosion sound. To do this, place a trigger right behind Wheelchair Guy, set Triggered By to 4, delay to 0.5, and attach it to Wheelchair Guy. Click on Wheelchair Guy and set the trigger to Apply Impulse, X to 0 and Y to negative 50. Place another trigger in the exact same place except this time set it to play sound effect and set the sound effect to explosion. The last thing we need to do is to activate the level victory. To do this, just take a trigger with the triggered by bar set to 4 and set the action to level victory. Take another trigger, set the delay to 5.5 and attach it to the previous trigger. Select the previous trigger and set the last trigger to activate trigger and now you're finished. Before I end this video, I just want to tell you that when you are using triggers, you'll probably need to experiment with them before they work out properly. It's okay if you need to keep making changes to them in order for them to work right. It's likely that one of the settings of the triggers is set wrong. Just look through the triggers for any mistakes. I make mistakes when using triggers all the time, and I need to go back to make sure everything is right. That's the end of this tutorial video, and I will see you later. Bye. Click the video on the left for a tutorial on how to use the trigger tool, and click the video on the right to see some level editor tips and tricks.